in response to President Biden's decision to provide cluster bombs to Ukraine, despite the warning and objections of um, Britain's Rishi Sunak, uh, Canada and so on, a uh, hundred nations have signed uh, a convention not to use cluster bombs, uh, to regard them as illegal and um, immoral. Uh, so the decision, uh, Ukraine and Russia are, in, are not on that list, by the way. Uh, the decision by Biden to provide such bombs uh, means that Sergei Shoigu has today announced that Russian forces in Ukraine will begin using cluster bombs, cluster munitions in response to uh, Washington's decision. So it doesn't really matter whether or not Washington goes ahead and actually supplies them. Shoigu has now confirmed that the Russians are going to uh, use their own supply of cluster bombs. Um, Moscow has abstained, he says, and continues to abstain from using the weapons against Ukraine because it understands the threat that these musician, that these munitions pose to the civilian population. He says that uh, Russia has cluster bombs for all situations and they are much more effective than the American ones. Uh, the US supply of weapons to Ukraine, he says, will prolong the war. Of course, this is sort of chop logic. And there is an argument that would say that uh, whether the West provides cluster bombs or not, the um, Putin's Kremlin are going to provide them, are going to um, use them against Ukraine anyway. So damned if you do, damned if you don't. But I think it's a shame that Biden and his allies um, think that it's worth abandoning the high moral high ground in order to help Ukraine. I think that moral high ground is a position um, of strength and it's abandoned uh, to everybody's cost.